we all have to do our bit to keep our favourite four wheel drive tracks open. If you come across a scenario like this, don't destroy other vegetation by creating your own track. If you've got the gear, take the time to clear fallen trees out of the way. This could happen all too often, especially when you're driving on remote tracks like this one. But it's no big deal, it simply means we've got to get rid of this log. When cutting through the middle of a log like this, start from the bottom of the log and cut three quarters of the way through it and then finish the remainder off from the top. This will prevent the log pinching the blade of the chainsaw. There's no way I'm going to be able to move this log by myself, so I'm going to use this drag chain. It's an essential piece of recovery gear. On one end, you've got a loop, and that'll join to the front of my four-wheel drive. On the other end, I've got a hook, and this will wrap itself around the log. When towing anything, it's essential you use rated recovery points on your vehicle. The hook goes around the log and attaches back to a link in the chain. And I've got the hook facing away from the vehicle. Driving the vehicle is pretty straightforward, or reversed in this case. Put the forward drive into low range and select your gear. Easy does it, Tiger. Drive off slowly. Using a drag chain is all about maintaining a steady right foot. The last thing you want is to have the log you're trying to remove end up on your passenger seat. That was too easy for the mighty Toyota. So now I can unchain the log and roll it off the track. This one's only a twig, but it still weighs a ton. Make sure you bend your knees when you're moving a log like this. There's no mistaking that's still a fair bit of hard work, but it sure beats reversing down and going the long way. Anyway, I'll see you out there.